I love Riddle. I love this maze we're in. No solution is the perfect teacher. It draws out and generates enormous energy. This is the ongoing revelation of our infinite nature. Our infinite nature doesn't show itself in our resolving the issues of the world, but rather the world's issues are a catalyst which draws closer and closer to our soul, our infinite nature. Then we stop trying to solve the maze and instead we begin to live inside it with wonder and amazement. Little by little we stop seeing the world as something to solve, but instead we get closer to it. We let it impact us. We become totally intimate with it. This intimacy becomes a kind of unifying force, a love which sees the paradoxical nature of our lives as one living whole. Unlike the many problems we ourselves create, this love doesn't come from willfulness or force. Instead, love arises from meeting the issues at hand directly, intimately, in our hearts. This way we trust the universe, we trust life. We recognize that if we were to really take life in, whatever is necessary would arise from within our depths. I'm sure you've experienced this yourself. When you've lost a loved one and there was a deep grief waiting for you in your heart. At first, you weren't able to feel the enormity of that grief and so it continued to tug for your attention. Then, the moment came when something in you said, okay, I'll feel it. At that moment, although the grief might have felt excruciating as you surrendered to it, almost as if out of nowhere, a deep love arose to hold and imbue your grief. Where did this love come from? This love was waiting for you to allow yourself to experience life and its impact directly without judgment. Once you allowed this to happen, love, your depth and soul revealed itself in your experience. It's true, sometimes we can't meet the challenges of the world, for we may find that even our own daily obstacles are too much. In that case, we take bite-sized pieces. We open ourselves to what we can, while staying grounded and resourced. Little by little, our capacity to face life and its challenges strengthens. At some point, we find that the ultimate resource is always right under our nose. Our greatest resource is our nature. It is what we are. I don't have to hold or make sense of my experience because life is already doing so. I simply have to be open and willing to face and be impacted by life without force or judgment. Then life, love, soul, our infinite nature, whatever we want to call that ineffable presence, comes to the foreground of our experience. This love becomes our trusted guide, and so we learn to offer it everything we can't contain or understand. Many aspects of life are just too large for our limited, finite perceptions to hold. Yet our source, where we come from, is vast and unlimited. It knows how to face that which we don't. When we stop trying to find and impose solutions from our limited sense and instead let life have its impact, we begin to learn that what meets the problem honestly is something inherent to our being. Let yourself fall in love with this maze we're in. Although you might not have the solutions to the challenges we face, once you accept the riddle you're in, you'll be amazed at what you may find.